Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be guiding you on how to use Melko Deag, which is the newer version of JP Deag, which is a diagnostic tool for Ducati bikes. So if you remember or watched my video from last year where I used JP Deag on my Ducati 848, that was the older version, which also required a different type of cable. So first things first, I'm gonna show you what cables you need. And then I'm gonna move into the software, how to set it up, how we're gonna connect to the bike, and also how we're gonna remove the Desmo service uh, notification. So let's start with the cabling. So cables, what we're gonna need? We're gonna need this four pin to OBD 16 pin. So this is what the newer Ducati bikes use. It's a four pin um, adapter. This will connect to your ECU. And the other side we connect to our ELM327 1.5 adapter. This will connect through USB to your laptop. And it is very important that you buy one with an FTDI chip. I will link this in the description of the video because they are very important. You might have one of these already, but it won't work if it doesn't have this chip. In my case, it came with the switch also. I'm guessing it has, it's related to the serial speed of the OBD interface. So yeah, most important thing is to have that chip in your OBD. It's gonna be listed in the description most probably. In my case, I bought this from Amazon, but you can find it also on eBay. And I searched the reviews for this one for people that have worked with it on Ducatis. That's why I bought it. So I know for sure that this one works. So now that we've got the cable sorted, I'm gonna move on to the software part on my laptop. So I'm gonna be showing you my screen. So first of all, we're going to the JPDAG website, which is this one. I will also link it in the description of the video. So now that we're in the website, you're gonna see a bunch of software which we can download. So this is the one we used last year, which is for the older Ducatis. So we're gonna scroll down over here, which is the last one, Mercadeag. So we're gonna click download. So keep, keep anyway. So this is a zip file, so we're gonna have to extract everything. Okay, so now all our files are extracted. So we've put everything in the same folder name, Melko Deag. And this is the software. It doesn't need any installation. We're just gonna open it. It's right here. So this is the software. And the first thing we're gonna do is connect our ELM327 to our laptop. So we're gonna connect it with USB. Once we've done that, there will be a red light on the adapter. So now we're gonna open device manager or our, on our windows. And we're gonna open this section, ports, com and LPT. Now over here, we're gonna get the com number of our Adapter connected to our laptop. This is very important. It's COM11. And 
and we're gonna search that in here. So if it does not show, just close the program and reopen it again. So it refreshes the USB ports. So there's these little arrows here. If you click them, we can find our COM11. And obviously we cannot connect because we're not connected to the bike. So our next step is gonna be grab the four pin adapter and connect it to our bike and then we're gonna connect it to the OBD2 ELM327. So let's go to our bike to connect the cable. So in my case I'm gonna be working on a Ducati scrambler and the port to connect this adapter is located under the seat. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove my seat Now somewhere here, near the battery, you're gonna find this cable here, which doesn't connect to anything, but it has a cover. So we're gonna remove this cover, and we're gonna reveal our four pin port. So we're gonna grab our adapter and just connect it to this one. That's it. Now we're gonna grab the OBD end and we're gonna connect it to the other end of the adapter. That's it. Unfortunately, if you're not working on a Ducati Scrambler like me, you're gonna have to find the location of your four pin port, which is probably located somewhere else. Now the next step is to switch on our ignition. So now once our ignition is on, we can continue working on our laptop. Now as we saw before, we're connected to COM11. We can double check that again in your device manager. We're gonna press this button here. So it says 1100, 696, 800 and scrambler. So in my case, I have a scrambler. So I'm gonna take this button here. Select COM11 and press connect. Now this may take some time. So in my case I've got a CAN error for the details of my bike. So I'm guessing this has to do with the little switch there is on the OBD uh, connector. So I'm gonna switch it to the other side. So currently it is set to MS. Now I'm gonna put it on HS. And I'm gonna try again. So just connect and connect. Let's wait for it to connect now. So now it has worked. We can see all the details of my bike, including the serial numbers and the serial type. Now we need to register the software and to do that we're gonna go to this section here, bottom right, and we're gonna tick the boxes that are related to us. So does most service active? Yes. All service active? No. Bike year 2016 in my case. Now we're gonna press get license. And we're gonna end up in this page. So enter your bike details, your email, and these are your details of the bike in the bigger box. Once you've done all that, press send. And the owner of the software should send you a license file a few hours after you press send on this page. And with this license file, we're gonna put it in the same folder of the Mercodiag application. So let me show you. So let's assume a few hours passed and they have sent you the license key. So 
So this is license key. You're gonna download from your email. So we're gonna copy that and paste it in our same folder of Mercadeag. So now that we've pasted the license file in its folder, we're gonna open the app again. And now we should have all features activated. So now if we go, so actually we have to connect again now. So I'm gonna choose the scrambler on port 11 and connect. We've connected back to our bike. Now if we go to the third option on the top, third menu, which is called resets, we're gonna find all the resets related to Ducati bikes. So in my case, I'm gonna be doing a Desmo reset, which is the second button. So before I press it, I'm gonna show you the Desmo reset on the bike itself, on the dashboard. So currently we can see the service light. So if I switch on the bike again, we're also gonna get a Desmo message just right there. So what I'm gonna do now is press the Desmo reset button and the Desmo service reset indicator on the dashboard should go away now. So I just pressed it. So there wasn't any sort of notification, but just a little window sound on the laptop. And as far as I can see on the dashboard, the service icon is also gone. So we have the spanner and service logo gone. So I'm gonna restart the bike now to make sure that it's worked. And it's gone. So this was actually effective and it worked. So the purpose of this video has been reached where I showed you how to reset your Desmo service Angel Light. You can go ahead and play around with the other features of the software where you can check, for example, sensors on the bike if they're working properly. So the combination of these two wires was actually good and it worked. Don't forget, I will put a link in the description of the video below so you make sure you buy the correct cables for this job. So always be careful when doing this. Don't just go ahead and remove your service light without actually doing the Desmo service. The Desmo service is very important on Ducati bikes. But if you have done the servicing already, it's a very good cheap way to remove your light instead of having to go to the dealership and spending hundreds of euros. So, that is all for this video. I hope this has helped you guys in resetting your the small service light. If you have any questions, you can write them below in the video or you can go to the official forums for JP Diag. I am no way affiliated with them. So this is not official like help or support, but I'm just doing my best to help you guys if you have the same issues. So thanks again for watching. Leave a like on the video if this has helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. They will see you in the next one. Cheers.